Both the Cavaliers and Warriors swept through their first round series. Both needed six games to get through the conference semis. And Golden State took five games, one more than Cleveland, to win their conference titles. Combined, we did some math, that's 29 total games. The fewest for a finals pairing to reach the ultimate series since the playoffs expanded to seven game series. Sets up a uh, individual matchup of a four time MVP and the current one starting next week. We got to bring our A game if we're going to, you know, be a great team and a great play like that four times. And we're excited about the, the challenge because, um, you know, he had to win his first one at some point. And, um, you know, nobody on our team has experienced that. So we're going to be fighting like crazy every night. We got home court advantage that we need to uh, capitalize on. And it's going to be uh, a battle. As far as guarantees, I cannot guarantee anyone. Can't guarantee the championship. Um, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to lead. But I will guarantee that we will play our asses off. Now, there's a guarantee for you. For what it's worth, the two teams split their regular season series. That's just two games. Very yep. small sample size. And LeBron James did not play in the first of those, which the Warriors won with the Splash Brothers combining for 47. Uh, James made an appearance in game two, and that went well. He had 42 <laughs> in a Cavalier win. So make of that what you will. Let's start with uh, the King. Still regarded as the best player on the planet. He's the biggest matchup headache there is in the league. How do the Warriors approach him defensively? That's the question. Who, who guards him? And do you put Draymond Green on him? Uh, do you put Klay Thompson on him? Yes. I mean, yes. Both, both of those guys are too small. I mean, when you, when, when you look at LeBron James, 6'8", 250, he can take both those guys inside the paint. He's big enough. He's a great passer. So... He is the matchup nightmare. And then if Kyrie Irving is healthy, okay, Curry takes Irving. They both kind of, I think, you know, neutralize each other, single each other out. But what do you do with LeBron James, and can you keep Tristan Thompson off the boards? We saw how physical LeBron got with the Hawks. They were just overmatched. Yeah, I think Harrison Barnes will probably start on in the beginning of the game to, to keep everything even. But as the game flows on, I think the biggest decision Steve Kerr has to make do I double-team LeBron and open up J.R. Smith and all those shooters? We see how they shot the three-point ball in the last series. Or do I make LeBron go for 40 and 50 every night and see if he can really put the team on his back? Because he's never done that before. And I think that's the tug of war for a lot of coaches. Do you help, and now you open up your defense, and now he finds shooters, and now you get blown out of games? Or do you say, LeBron, can you get 50 every night and go win the series? It's kind of a poison buffet. You exactly. You have to pick one of them. you got to pick one. Uh, you've said it. I think most people agree. These are the two best ball handlers in the game in Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry. If you're a basketball fan, you're rooting for Kyrie Irving's health just to see how this plays out. Absolutely. And not only are they the two best ball handlers, but they're the two best scoring point guards in the NBA. Both of them have an array of shots. They both, they both like to compete against each other. I think they both look at each other as 1A and 1B on any given night. Steph Curry can go for 50. Well, guess what? Kyrie Irving can go for 50 also. So this matchup in the NBA Finals, to me, is the most intriguing and will probably be the most enjoyable because they're similar size, mm -hmm. they're similar ball handling skills, they're similar shot making skills. Now to, be, now to come down to which one of them is really healthy. And if Kyrie is healthy, okay, I, I like the matchup of a hungry Kyrie Irving mm going against the MVP, Steph Curry. Teammates last summer on Team USA, I didn't mean to bury the lead about their <laughs> scoring and no, shooting no. abilities there. No, the only thing I would add to everything Isaiah said is the confidence. You have two young men who have supreme confidence in their skills and what they can do on the basketball floor. And lastly, they have the confidence from their coaches to go out there and play their game and not look over their shoulders. So I agree with both of you. This should be very exciting to watch. You think of the Warriors' offense, you think of three-point shooting. Atlanta was a pretty good three-point shooting team. Cleveland handled that pretty easily. They, they really did. You take your head off the Mon Shumper and their wing guys are running guys off three-point line. But let's face it, we're dealing with a different animal now. Jeff Teague will do a good job setting up Kyle Corbin and different guys. But now the guy with the ball can come down in transition and stop and pop at any time. And the same thing with Coach Black. When do you trap Curry, get the ball out of his hands? Because now Draymond Green and Harrison Barnes have proven we can go out and facilitate and make the shots as well. Can the Cavs bully the Warriors the way they did the Hawks? No, I, I think the Warriors have too much scoring and 
We also forget that the Warriors were the best defensive team in the yes. NBA. Yep. I think right now the Cavaliers are the, they're the best defensive team in the playoffs. So, you know, we talk about both these teams' offensive weapons, but they really come into the NBA Finals being the two best defensive teams in the NBA. At this time, sure. At, yeah. at, at this time. And the physicality that, that Cleveland brings to the game, the the Eastern Conference mentality, the old Eastern Conference throwback mentality. And I remember when we was going to play the Lakers. The Lakers were, you know, showtime, up-tempo. Yeah. We had just come off a tough series against Boston and Chicago. So we were coming out, you know, grit and grind. We were coming out like to smash mouth, right? Mm -hmm. We go out there, we win game one, had a chance to win game two. I think Cleveland is coming with the same mentality that they're playing an up-tempo team, Western Conference team, and they're bringing East Coast mentality to the West Coast, um, you know, bas basically to the West Coast gymnasium to say, okay, we here to rough it up a little bit. <laughs> right. You know, I know you like to run around and shoot the three, but Shemper and, and J.R. Smith and everyone will be, especially LeBron, they'll be out on the perimeter like, okay, let it go, let it go, <laughs> let, 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 let it go, let it go. <laughs> don't you shoot that. The series does sort of play to that East-West reputation. And by the way, don't forget the Cavaliers took 31 threes per game in the series against the Hawks and knocked down 40%. They wow. can they can shoot yep. the long ball as well as anybody mm -hmm. right now. All right, quickly, at first blush, who do you like? First blush, uh, it's hard for me to go against that crowd out there in Golden State, and when they get going and the Splash Brothers get going, right now today I'm going with the Splash Brothers. You have time to think about it. Yeah. Over the next week, yeah. you can change your mind. Yeah, yeah I, 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 you know, I would, I'm going to stay true to the East Coast, and um, I'm going to go with Cleveland. I look at LeBron James, and I say he's a, he's the best player on the planet, and he's bringing his guys, but, you know, so I'm, I'm going with Cleveland in six. It's funny how so often the evaluations come down to that. Well, oh, that guy. That yeah, guy. yeah, that's right. He, he's the big three, man. Yes. Uh, and because the uh, the two finalists were so efficient in advancing, we'll also have the longest ever layoff between the conference finals round and the championship series. It all starts in Oakland Thursday, June 14th.